Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic morning this morning. Today is a beautiful, blessed, and wonderful day that the Lord has made. And if you have not spent time connecting with the Lord today, if you have not spent time in His Word, as always, I got you. And just remember, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're going through right now, the fact that you opened your eyes today, it is a blessed and wonderful day day. Today is a beautiful day because you opened your eyes today. And just remember that this life that you are living is a storybook that is your life. And eventually this chapter will close and a brand new one will begin. So let's go ahead and check out this word. This one is coming out of First Chronicles chapter 16 verses 8 through 11 but y'all need to go ahead and read the entire chapter of first chronicles chapter 16 it has a beautiful praise from david to the lord but we're going to only cover the first section of it and it says this give praise to the lord proclaim his name make known among the nations what he has done sing to him sing praise to him Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek his face always. And the study note breaks it down like this. It says, does it ever seem that a simple thank you to God is not enough to express your appreciation? This song, Psalm, of true thanksgiving contains four key ways to express gratitude to God. One, remembering what he has done for you. Two, telling others about it. Three, showing God's glory to others. And four, offering gifts of self, time, and resources. If you are truly thankful, you can say it with your words and express it with your life. So let's go ahead and break this down real quick. Number one, remembering what he's done for you. What has he done for you? Well, he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to earth as God in the flesh to take on your sin and mine and be hung on a cross to die the sacrificial lamb and take all of our sins on him. He paid the fine for us and wiped the slate clean so that you and I could be forgiven and be made right with God in heaven through the blood of Jesus. Man, that is so awesome. Thank you so much, Jesus. Number two, telling others about it. Tell others about the gospel. Spread the word. You can thank God by remembering what his one and only son did for us on the cross and by telling others about it so that they can hopefully receive salvation through believing, through faith in what Jesus did for us. Number three, show God's glory to others. We pretty much just ran, did, ran through that. <laughs> show his glory. Show his glory to others by the way that you live your life. Represent Christ by the way that you speak, by the way that you think, by the way that you talk, by the way that you act. Change the way that you think that represents Christ. And number four, offering gifts of self, time, and resources. Don't complain when you got to do something for other people. Go help them. Be thankful that you get to go help them, that they have asked you for your time and your resources. Honor God by helping his children, by helping others. Just like the Bible tells us, the two greatest commandments, love your neighbor as you love yourself, and love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, my body, and soul. Sorry, I stumbled over that one a little bit. Um, it's a little early. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning right now, so bear with me. Anyway, let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray in Jesus' mighty and gracious name. We ask, Lord, that you please help us, Lord, to know, love, and serve you. We ask, Lord, that you help us, Lord, to be bold in our faith, to spread the gospel, to, to share your love and your grace because we love you so much and we're so grateful and thank you for what you've done for us. Sending your one and only son, we're thankful, Jesus, for the sacrifice that you gave on the cross. Thank you, Lord. 
for saving us so that we could receive eternal salvation through the blood of Jesus Christ. It is in Jesus' mighty and gracious name we pray. Amen. You guys have a wonderful, beautiful, and glorious day. God bless and go in peace.